Hi everyone, today we are going to be unboxing the Bissell Spinwave Cordless Hard Floor Expert Cordless Hard Floor Mop. This machine has a built-in battery that can give you up to 20 minutes of cleaning time on a single charge. The machine uses two rotating mop pads to scrub and clean floors. It can clean linoleum, wood, tile, and other sealed hard floor surfaces. It has the same cleaning performance as the regular spin wave, but is battery powered to give you the freedom of being able to clean anywhere without being tied to an outlet. So let's get in to this unboxing, shall we? So let's unbox this machine. We have instructions. We have this battery charger right here, which plugs into the back of the machine. We have this piece of plastic. We have this thing right here. We have this piece of cardboard, this piece of cardboard. We have something right here. Looks like a, a tray, that's nice. We have a, a tray for the machine. And now we have the machine itself. So I don't think we need any tools for assembly. I think we just, nope, it just clicks in. I don't see any tools necessary. A pair of scissors. I don't see any scissors anywhere. So we'll just cut this off later. Oh, wow. So we get, looks like a lot of pads. Looks like we get six, so two pairs. Good, we get scrubbies. Those are the ones I usually use. Let's take the soft pads off and put on the scrubby pads. These appear to be the same pads that the old Spinwave uses, which I have several of, which will be nice and helpful. So this is very similar to the old Spinwave. We do have this little handle back here, which should be helpful for lifting the machine up. We have a water tank right here which you use to fill. So the battery is built into the machine. We charge it right here. Let's see if it says how big the battery is. So we have a 2000 milliamp hour battery, which goes right here. That's how you charge it. And then we have this base right here, which you just set the machine in like that. So if there's water dripping off, you won't have to deal with your floors getting wet. So here's the control panel up on the handle. So we have the power button and the spray button. That's really nice. So it looks like the battery is somewhat charged already. When I press the spray button, looks like we have two out of three bars of battery, not bad. We probably could do the test video after this without having to charge it. So, this overall looks like a really nice machine. I'm going to get a few B-roll shots of it, and then we can finish up.